My dear friend, I wish you the happiest, the most God-blessed, the absolute most fulfilling new year of your life. And I pray that this is a time that your resolutions really take hold. And those things that you desire to change, I pray that you have the God-given ability to do so. I pray that this is a wonderful, spiritual, magical time of your life. I pray that this is one of the best years yet that you have ever lived. For those resolutions that you want to make, most of those resolutions involve changing ourselves. Those things that we don't like, that we want to transform, well, we can. One of the things that I've done in past years, and I will do it here myself this year, is I will have a burning bowl prayer ceremony. I'll write down on a piece of paper, and I encourage you to do this, the things about Chris that I wish to change, that I don't want to take from 2015 into 2016 and beyond. Those things that I'm making a decision right now at this dividing line to change in my life. I write down on a piece of paper what those things are. Then I crumple it up. I destroy it. I rip it up. I step on it. I no longer want this in my life. This shows to my human mind that I'm taking control, that I have the reins of my mind. And then I take it outside and I here in Texas, I put it on my barbecue grill and I absolutely burn it up. Now, if you're in an apartment in New York, just crumple it up, destroy it, throw it in the trash, and take out the trash. And if possible, look out the window and see that trash going away in the trash truck. It shows to the human mind that that you're in control and that you have made a firm decision. You'll also, by having this visual and this action in prayer, you'll have something to, to rest upon, to lean back upon, to realize that, hey, I have done something here. It is done. It is finished. And then you'll be able to go through the doorway and across the threshold into 2016, realizing that you've made a firm decision. So, write down what you no longer want in your life. The list may be short, and it may be long. And then crumple it up, destroy it, and safely set fire to it or Take it out in the trash and realize that that action that you've done, along with God's miracle help, will eliminate that from your life. The Bible says that you have two powers, two main powers, and that is the yes, yes power and the no, no power. That's to say yes, yes to what you want in your life, and also the power of elimination, the power of saying no, the power of absolutely canceling it out. And what is canceled on earth is canceled in heaven. And you decide that you're not going to carry this baggage along with you into new life, into the new year. And this new year will truly be a new year because you're new because you've made the decision to become a new creature in Christ and with God's help daily and moment by moment you will do just that again I wish you the happiest of new year I pray it's a time of celebration joy health and happiness 
God bless you in every great way.